All right, so this is kind of a, a to me, this is a really strange thing that's apparently happening. Um, the Walking Dead is currently going through its worst ratings since 2013. Um, and of course, 2013, I want to say that was back during season four, maybe? I want to, yes, because it, it, it debuted in 2010. So that was season one. 2011 would be season two. 2012 would be season three. Mm -hmm. 2013 would be season four. And season four, I didn't really like. I didn't like how the the governor lingered on for another half season, and then he got taken out during the the first half of season finale. four was pretty blame. Yeah, until that mid season finale, and then yeah. then it which then it, is the spike on this chart I'm looking at is really funny, like that chart, that spike right there. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Um, you can see a steady drop and then just whoop, <laughs> right, yeah. right back up. But and apparent, even though um, last season the the season finale, where of course we were all we all knew someone was gonna die, we just didn't know who it was, and then they still didn't tell us at the end of the ninety minute long finale. Um, that was the third highest rating among the other finales during the uh, other six seasons. Um. The theory is that a lot of people, oh, just basically over the fact, uh, over how they killed off Glenn, they people are, have said like like our friend Matt, <laughs> but he that, still watched. Yeah, even though he said he's done with the show, he's watching it. But apparently, a lot of people have said that for they real. are done and they are done for real. It's too much, guys. People's heads getting hit. You you with crossed that. you crossed it's the too line. Much. I just don't see how that's crossing the line. People's faces have gotten torn off by zombies. Well, just because it's another human doing it doesn't make it any less. Shouldn't make it any less disturbing. Look what happens to the walkers. The walkers <laughs> are are destroyed and mangled in horrible ways. Know. Just because they're already dead doesn't make it any less gory. I know. I, I don't understand. That's I guess just the brutality of another person doing it. I don't know. I I guess so. And I mean, I've heard I've heard some people like say like basically. Like on the comments for our, our reaction video, people like get very self righteous and they're like, I can't believe that you would put a reaction video up of you reacting to a human being like being destroyed uh, that way. Hey, like, I, so I don't know if you know this, but um, they're they're acting. <laughs> I mean, yeah, like, it's you know? not real. <laughs> oh my gosh, and it's ridiculous. It's not, and it's not for the, and, and I don't know about you, I don't watch the show for the gore. Mm -hmm. like i, I don't do. i <laughs> <laughs> i mean i know that i i've talked and i've talked to people that are that have been like longtime fans of the horror genre mm -hmm. and the gory of the film like the more they want to go see see films like the saw I really, movies i don't really get that yeah the saw movies were really big on, into the whole uh gore stuff and i i haven't seen a saw movie it doesn't interest me and people that i've talked to they're just like i don't know i i i Kind of, I don't like it, but I kind of can't look away. Like I have to go see it. It's really strange. Like they had this weird fascination with it. With The Walking Dead, I don't think that that's why a lot of people. Why that's why many people watch it. I think it's one of the highest rated um, TV shows right now, simply because it's well written and it shows. It, it no other show does what it what it does. It's a never ending horror survival movie. Mm -hmm is basically what it is um because you know usually they all die at the end mm -hmm. well how about let's just keep seeing how long how far this goes um we're not going to get a cure they're not going to get out of the situation they're, Sorry, that they're stuck in <laughs> oh, wait, <he's> dead. <laughs> but you know they it's it's just basically seeing how would human society break down in this situation mm -hmm. and i think it's i think it's very realistic I think how the relationships work out are pretty pretty realistic. I mean, there's some comic booky elements in mm -hmm. the show in general, but that's because it's a comic book, and that's because it has zombies in it. Yeah, <laughs> there's that too. Um, but I do think that you know if if people stop watching it because they're, they they're like, oh yeah, it really did cross a line. W whatever. Who drew I mean, that line? Yeah, I mean, and, and you it's know, all relative. you can watch whatever whatever you want to yeah. watch. That's fine. Uh, I I will tell you that I don't like the fact that they 
did what they did with the season finale where we didn't know who died. Really? I thought it was kind of cool. What I think would have been done a whole lot better is if we had seen Abraham die. And then we think that that's it. And then we think that that's it. And then the season finale happens and then we see Glenn die. And that would have... I think that would have been more mind-blowing than how they did do it. I don't know though, because I feel like still everyone wasn't expecting like someone else to like a second person to die after Abraham, except the fact that uh, I think his name is Jeffrey D. Morgan, the the guy who plays Negan, said that that was going to happen. He said multiple people were going to die. Really? Yes. Like oh. a couple months before the premiere, he said that. Hmm. Now he was the only one who said it, so I didn't know if it if that was believable or not, but. Still, that that seems like a major thing to leak, um, yeah. two months in advance. That might have been a that might be a good idea. What you said uh, that that might have been better. Um, so I, I I don't I mean why why would you think that the ratings are slipping well, after this? Because because like I said, I think this I think season seven so far has been one of the most interesting season because it puts Rick's group in this situation. We haven't really seen them in before. Mm -hmm. But that's where the problem comes in is that they're in a situation that is, we haven't seen them in before and it's interesting but they spend these really slow chunk episodes i.e. the newest one which you haven't seen the one in that kingdom place mm -hmm. and the one with Dwight which was pretty good but still didn't need to be so much. Yeah. In there. And when you have something that's so interesting and you're just you're trying to develop other plot lines and you go to those instead of what you have our attention for. Right. It just gets kind of dreary, like it's kinda of like it's just like let's just get to it. And I know that the Negan thing is gonna last a long time. Right. But you need to have more you need to have more than just setup going on. Yeah. It, which it looks like it's gonna start moving a little bit faster sooner hopefully but but that doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me simply because um the they've done this before yeah. as far as breaking the group up into multiple groups and you have these multiple story mm -hmm. threads that they just focus on one episode at but a time have been se but see you're talking about season five like the second half of season five there were there were only like t maybe t i want to say two episodes where they only focused on one group most of those episodes, they, they would divvy it up, which is yeah. the, probably the best way to Well, do it. when they were all in the prison together, that, that focused on one at a time. Mm -hmm. It's it's just, to me, it's really fascinating because even though, like, the, the governor was done pretty well. I, I feel that the governor was done, yeah. done pretty well. It, it was just weird that all season three we had the governor, and then he only was around for half a season in season four. That was strange to me. And then the second half of season four had, like, I don't even remember what the, what the issue was then. But it wasn't all that you know it wasn't as threatening as the governor the governor the it, it seemed like the entire time he was basically they were on equal footing with each other maybe the governor's group had a slight advantage because they did have like the truck and then i think they find a tank at one point and mm -hmm. like they, they get crazy ammunitions and that kind of stuff wait that's season four season well yeah yeah that's yeah four. yeah halfway through they come with the tank um, it's just, I'm sorry. Did I say second half of season five that does all that? Like, you you did. Yeah, but, it's four. But that's that's yeah. Everyone knows what you mean. Because mm -hmm. uh, the internet never takes anything in the wrong way. No, <laughs> y'all be forgiven. Um, me. It's just strange that um that that they did that. But I I still feel like you know here we have Negan who just has you know people upon people that are committed to him much more than the people mm -hmm. Woodbury were with the governor or the second group of people that he was able to to con people who i mean I'm talking about negan people who think that they are him who call yeah themselves the, no they him. are brainwashed yeah. this is this is a straight up you know militaristic cult um which is i can't think of something much worse to deal with in an mm -hmm. apocalypse so to me, this is like where it's really interesting. And if people are stopping to watch things now, I really feel like they're going to miss out on a lot of really cool stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. But it's just this point right now. Like I know a lot of cool stuff is coming. Like in the comics, like there's all these wars and stuff. Obviously, that's going to happen, and that's going to be yeah. Really we're seeing awesome. and we're seeing like, the setup. There's that one now. point where Negan bombs Alexandria by throwing grenades in their walls. Like that mm. sounds like something I want to see. Wow. But you're just going to have to wait for it. 
Yeah. And it might not be the most thrilling thing you've ever seen, but yeah, it won't Every, be horrible. It's like just bare. Like, but right now, like we're we, like all the episodes, especially when the saviors are involved or Negan himself. There's all this tension, and I mm-hmm. love that. Yeah. Like it, it's gonna get old after a while, definitely. But I don't, I don't. It hasn't got to that point yet, of course, because it is still slowly moving. But I, well, it's just to me, it's they. Like you, I don't think they crossed the line with with how they killed Glenn and Abraham. Um, it's it's just how they, you know. It's, I think people are being a little bit babyish or squeamish <laughs> if they can't handle something like that. Yeah, if they're like that, I don't really see why they're ever watching it in the first place. Yeah, because we've we've honestly seen worse mm-hmm. stuff. 